What's next? I'm thinking about common sense and why it's so hard to find, why it's so difficult to see and find in life. And I might go on a rant against schools, it might be government indoctrination, but I'll try to maintain a level head. Why is common sense so hard to find? Well, one thing I know is when you have common sense, you have to think about things. You have to consider the options. You have to think about what the potential is for the information you have and use it from prior knowledge. Because if you have common sense, you have to use your own knowledge. And to not use your common sense, you basically it's kind of easier because you're less likely to think about it and you just go with the information that's already readily available from what others have told you. Most likely people who are supposed to be in the know, whether it be media or adults, people older than you, people who have more experience than you, experts. Basically, common sense, you think for yourself, not so common sense. You let others think for you. And I'm not saying you have to fight against what others say. I'm just saying you just have to think about it. You don't have to be argumentative. You just have to be contem contemplative, contemplative, whatever. You have to think about what you say. You have to think about what you're hearing and use it from what you know. And Basically, common sense is, is, is exhausting sometimes because the information that's in front of you indicates something else, but your knowledge, you look at it and you're saying, this doesn't quite add up to me from my knowledge. You have to trust in yourself. And humans are kind of a herd animal. I mean, basically our, our heritage, heritage, our evolutionary path involved living in a society where we rely on each other for information and that's where the media and the government gets us because you know they supply the, with the information that seems pretty pretty interesting pretty makes makes a lot of sense but when you use your own mind when you use your own sense you realize that the information quite doesn't add up to you. But you can't put your finger on it and hell, you're not an expert. I'm not an expert on everything, so I can't know everything. That's where they get you. I believe that we have enough information about a lot of things that we run into life that we can make an informed de de decision what we already know. I mean, uh, like sports. we. As a male, I'm encouraged to follow sports. Uh, you know, it's a, uh, you know, they're physical beings, you know, they're high, high physics, you know, they're you're using their, their bodies, they're using their, strength. It's kind of, you have to use, um, hand-eye coordination, skills, it's all very interesting and they're more attractive. And somehow it's become dichotomous where you're either intelligent or you're physically fit. It's such a rare find to find someone who is intelligent and physically fit at the same time. But that's what they tell you. Maybe that's how they they get us, is that the physically fit people are, are told to focus on your your bodies, focus on your muscles, focus on your skills, and then just fall back a little bit about your knowledge. A quarterback has to know a lot more than a than a running back. But Maybe not so much. Maybe 
you could have the best of both worlds. Maybe you can work on being physically fit, but not excruciating kill yourself, but also look into information and just absorb it on, on a slightly less level than a super genius. Maybe there's a balancing act that we can do. And I'm in no means overweight, but I have been indoctrinated, indoctrinated into getting my numbers down, getting my body fat down, getting, you know, getting my visceral body fat versus the muscle versus the lean fat, a uh, lean body mass versus total mass. It's, it's, it's all indoctrinated and because I love numbers, I love calculating things and I love trying to, you know, figure things out, looking for things that indicate other things. I just like looking into it, try to lose weight and try to get myself more fit, which is why I do this hiking because it's not strenuous activity. Because if, you, if I do too much strenuous activity, honestly, I'm going to hurt myself and then I'm not going to do any physical work. And that that kind of defeats the purpose. So I kind of push myself by hiking, by walking quickly, by doing a little bit of jogging here and there. Walking in the woods because I am a biologist at heart and I love to see the animals, birds, uh, the foxes and the deers and the like, coyotes. Although I don't want to run into coyotes. I don't mind running into a fox or a turkey or uh, what's the more aggressive? A geese? Geese are kind of aggressive. I don't mind. I can, I can work with them. Swans? I give them a little bit more bird, uh, a little bit more space. A coyote and a swan are kind of scary to me, although coyote, if it wanted, could probably do more damage because they work together, while a swan would hurt, but I could probably get away from it. So this is about common sense rather than physical fit, but there must be a way of balancing being physically fit and being intellectually fit. There must be a way of balancing being, you know, skinny, perfect supermodel look versus, you know, being slightly overweight. There must be a balance where you can not fight so hard to be the right weight, be in the, the realm of healthy, but then not killing yourself and looking, you know, supposedly beautiful when I swear that the system indoctrinates us into the into the people who are so skinny that it's unhealthy and fighting so hard to lose our weight but we're actually frust frustrated and lose our path and it's like a, a carrot on a stick again but the skinny supermodel that tell you oh you can get to here everyone can get to here unfortunately no we're not all built like that. I've always been thin in my life, but I never got the six-pack abs. That was that was a frustrating thing when you're a skinny kid who do you know active running, playing in the woods, playing baseball, and I really wasn't good at football, but playing baseball and just running. I never got the abs because just my body was not made for it. But I never quite understood that. And maybe that's what they do to us, that we... They give us unattainable goals, but we should convince us that they are attainable. Someone who's overweight, you know, they get so disenchantized and, and lose focus. So then they, they can't lose the weight. I mean, all this beautiful stuff. This food. We're given wonderful, delicious, sweet food. Genetically, we're, we're set to look for, you know, colorful fruits, 
and vegetables and sweet because the fruits and vegetables are the most healthy because uh, when they are the sweetest because they have a lot of sugar for curious energy but they also have other vitamins and minerals that kind of goes together well somehow they got us convinced that just strung some sugar in something is what we really need sugar and salt and although sugar and salt are good for us too much is not a good thing so I guess the idea is just Try not to let the system control you. Try not to make the system convince you what's right or wrong. Use your own common sense. We all have it. It's just some of us have been told that we have more intelligence than others. That's just not fair. What's next? <laughs>